preaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. And basically just getting an article off of RT News. And the uh, title of this article is uh, Fumes and Scuffles as riot police fire tear gas amid renewed anti-government unrest in Hong Kong. And uh, we already know that this is called a uh, civil unrest. And why is there civil unrest in Hong Kong and all, and all over the globe? Because, because these people have been in, in lockdown over this uh, COVID-19 issue. And also there's issues with the uh, with the government that the people are riling up and they can be roused up because they're seeing that their government is treating them unfairly. Especially, you know, you're going to have that over here in uh, Babylon the Great. And, uh, and, and, you, and those who are waking up in truth, we understand that this is a part of a biblical prophecy. If we're going to read that, that's in Second Edith chapter 15, that, you know, it's going to be civil unrest. You know, people are going to rise up against the government. And, and because they're tired of the tyranny, they're tired of the oppression of the government, not only is it going to happen here in Babylon the Great, it's going to happen around the world. And when you get an understanding of that, you'll understand that uh, it's going to happen not only because of scripture, it's going to happen because, like I said, uh, the oppression of the government. And also, it's going to be a lack of bread here. It's going to be, you know what I'm saying, you know, people, you know, the, uh, you know, people rights are being taken away. And, you know, I did a video on that. You know, say you, you have no rights here. And, but yet, people feel that they have rights. And they gonna be rising up, and you got even people that uh, you know, what I'm saying they 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 bearing arms, you know, what I'm saying and because the government wants to take their right to bear arms away, you know, you got people having guns, so they ready to fight the government, and uh, the government has the uh, you know, the most lawsuits and all that on standby because they know all these things are gonna go down. And that's the reason why they having all these martial law troops and these, you know, police officers and all the other stuff. But you know, nevertheless, you know, we gonna understand on the topic. And the topic again, um, uh, RT News, it, it reads, uh, Fumes and scuffles as, as riot police fire tear gas amid renewed anti-government unrest in Hong Kong. It reads, <coughs> I'm slacking for that. It reads, Bruin unrest in Hong Kong turned violent with police deploying tear gas grenades to keep back crowds or protesters who tried to go on the offense of forcing the riot squad, riot squad to retreat at times. Some 120 people have been arrested and, if, and, and the same thing is going to happen over here in America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, man. You know what I'm saying? Just because we see these things overseas, that don't mean that America is exempt. You know, America uh, uh, is going to feel, feel uh, is going to have that going on over there too. You see? They're going to go on around the world because people are getting tired of being oppressed. They're getting tired of being locked in their own. They're being tired of, uh, you know, food shortages and all these other things. And, and these people are starting to revolt. You know what I'm saying? They're starting to revolt. <clears throat> Continuing on, it said turmoil resumes in the former British colonies shortly after the Chinese government rolled out plans to adopt laws Boston security and public order in the semi-autonomous territory. The Sunday crowds of Hong Kongers fought to the streets, with some violently pushing back against police and chanting anti-government slogans. Videos and photos posted online show crowds of protesters marching across busy district of, of Causeway Bay and Wan Chai. And, it, and it's going to happen here in Babylon the Great, man. You know, you're going to have people doing the same thing. They're going to be rioting. They're going to be looting. They're going to be going to neighbors' houses, breaking in and taking their goods and all these things, man. It, it, it's going to come over here in, in the United States of America, you know, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. Let me read some of the demonstrators were seen waving U.S. flags. Uh, others could be heard cursing at police and chanting Hong Kong independence the only way the South China Morning Post reported. And, and you got these people, even these Chinese, you know, what you call more bikes, man. You know what I'm saying? They're working hand-in-hand -hand with Esau Edom, man. You know what I'm saying? 
comes and tells scripture, comes the main people that work hand in hand with Esau is the Moabites, man, which are the AKA the Chinese. And the Chinese, you know what I'm saying, they, they adopted the custom of Esau Edom, well, all these other countries around the world, man. That read why these other countries are getting mad, you know what I'm saying? Because they part time the scripture that that the other nations going to be mad. Why? Because they adopted the customs <coughs> of, of uh, Babylon the Great, man. You know, all the nations drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. That's, that's, that's a, uh, you can read that in Revelation, I believe it's uh, chapter 18, verse uh, 2, I believe. You know, we get that many y'all with them. It goes on to say, some district across city state of 7.4 7 million people turned into protest hotspots where rioters there quickly I know police enforcing officers to back off. The the demonstrators set up roadblocks and her umbrellas which have become a symbol of the Hong Kong protests. Water bottles and other form objects at law enforcement at law enforcement. And these police are gonna get the hardest man. Because the the because the police have been abusing their power for so long and they've been going been uh abusing the citizens. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, Jake man. You're going to have the wicked two-thirds that are going to get involved in these protests and things like that. And like we tell you, Jake, man, you have no rights over here, man. You, you know, wherever you got it, you have no rights. And and, and and I said in my other video that, uh, you know what I'm saying, that we shouldn't participate in these protests, man. That this is their kingdom. This is Esau's kingdom. You, you don't have no rights here. Your kingdom is the kingdom of heaven. I'm talking to you black Latino Native American, man. You, you shouldn't be out here participating in these riots, man, because you gotta understand in the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter, these other nations plot against your downfall, man. These other nations hate you. So why are you out there, you know, trying, trying to get involved with their protests and all this stuff? And all these things are gonna hit America soon enough. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna hit America, and, they, and you're gonna see a lot of people, they're gonna, they're gonna do the same same uh similar tactic that these people over there in hong kong doing man but it's gonna be a lot worse over here in the united states man so you're gonna have you gonna have people that you gonna have these edomites that that, that their rights been taken away you know the lower class edomites and they're gonna be you know firing their weapons and everything but the majority of them are gonna come after you jakes man that's be why we tell you pray and give back to the law that you command so you how about shame out shot and you know what i'm saying stop uh <coughs> You know, stop trying to join hand-in-hand -hand with the enemy because they hate you, man. And, and we can't make it no clearer than that. It reads, for continuing on, the draft legislation in question seeks to prevent, frustrate, and punish threats to national security in Hong Kong and, outlaw, and, and outlaws acts of terrorism, secession, and subversion. Local activists argue that the new New laws could roll freedoms in the city, while for, foreign pundits predicted they would spread the end of China's one country, two system policy and claim dismissed from Beijing. And basically, what they're saying is that these, these, these uh, people over in Hong Kong, which are uh, Moabites, by the way, they're Chinese, they are, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, they are, they are passing unrighteous laws over there, just like over here in Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? They pass unrighteous laws, you know, unrighteous decrees against Jake over here in you know, in uh in uh, Babylon the Great Man. And they doing the same thing over here. Uh they doing the same thing over there. You know, for lacking for that. You know, they pa they pass they pass unrighteous law. So the way they they, they get for of uh, you know, martial law, man. And that's what all boil down to. But majority of martial law is going to be uh, aiming for uh, you, Jason, like you black, Latino, Native Americans. But you, yeah, they're going to do do the other nations in a way because they don't want to make it seem advised as they are. But understand that they, you know, what I'm saying they they're going to be talking to Jake, and you got some Israelites over there in uh, Hong Kong too. Like like the scripture said, you know, the most high heritage is, is as a speckled bird. You're going to have Israel that are scattered throughout. The, you got Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the globe. And some Israelites gonna look they're gonna look Chinese by the way. But they see now gonna go back to Israel. You know, Salaka for for uh you no know, Salaka for Red, 
but just to give you an understanding that you got Israelites among the Chinese, though. You know what I'm saying? And, and, uh, and all these things are going to happen because of the Israelites, man. Because the other nations uh, see that the, the kingdom is in, and they see that the government is not for their benefit, though. They see that the government doesn't like them either. So that's the reason why they uh riding, they protesting, and all this stuff. And I said before, you know, you Israelites shouldn't be getting these protests, man. You should be praying and returning back to your power. Yeah, how about Shem and how shot? But continuing on, it says State Councilor Wang Yi said on Sunday that the draft bill will have no impact on Hong Kong's rights and liberties, nor will it affect the operation of foreign companies. Meanwhile, U.S. lawmakers moved to impose sanctions on Chinese official conflict and violate Hong Kong's independence. Last year, Washington unveiled a law, a Hong Kong right, Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act, which required the State Department to annually audit Hong Kong's level of autonomy. And you see that the United States, uh, they always in other folks' business, but yet they can't police their own home, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you talk about hypocrisy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to read that that, uh, that paragraph again. It said, Meanwhile, U.S. lawmakers moved to impose sanctions on Chinese officials, complicit, and violate Hong Kong's independence. And, and all the while, you know, this, this country here, Babylon, the great, we're in the police, uh, we're in the police state, man. You know what I'm saying? We are in a police state. We, you know, like I said, we have no rights over here, man. And we never had no rights for you black, Latino, Native American. You, you, you never had no rights over here to begin with. You came over here as slaves, and you are still slaves right to this day. Some of you probably like, oh, well, we can go do this, we can go do that. Get what? You in mental slavery, man. You are still underneath Esau Edom, man, and they still look at you as three-fifths of a human being. Just like they, they're like over here in Hong Kong. These, Hong Kong, these people over Hong Kong don't have no rights, man understand that that they had no rights on the east side intimate ruling they had no rights you see you see what i'm saying they had no independence and 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 uh and they put their puppies and stuff over over these countries man you know what i'm saying and they, in, in china oh you know in china they they uh they some of their cousins they follow uh babylon the great you know what i'm saying they they had dealing with babylon the great that's the reason why you see all these, all these uh, uh, riots and things over there because all these other nations are mad because they junk of the wine or the wrath of, or the fornication of Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why you're seeing them mad and upset. You see them riding because, because believe it or not, you know, the Chinese, they, they adopted some of the customs of Babylon the Great because Babylon the Great, according to the scripture, made all the nations of the wine or the wrath of fornication. That's why these nations are mad. Because they adopted the policy that Esau even had set up. And, and, and it's not for their benefit, it's for their detriment. You know what I'm saying? We're going to read the last article. We're gonna, then we're going to go ahead and get a couple of scriptures. And I pray that the lesson be edified. It reads, China retaliated against, uh, retaliated, accusing Washington of deploying itself to describe human rights and legislation to blackmail Hong Kong. Previously, it had also pushed back fiercely against foreign interference in the territorial affairs and attempt to fuel and prevent the anti-being unrest. And y'all, they pushing back in Washington because they basically tell no over there in Washington, you know, in the White House, to mind your business. This ain't this ain't got nothing to do with you. Why are you in our affairs? Because scripture also there's also part of scripture said, you know, uh, it said that you know they. You know, Esau Eden's a proud man, and now now they can't keep it keep his ass at home. You know what I'm saying? Roughly paraphrased, he can't stay at home because he got to be in everybody's affairs. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get uh we're gonna go and get the scriptures. This is second Ezra chapter fifteen, starting at uh verse uh, fourteen. He reads, uh, woe to the world and them that the way they in, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall fight against another as swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard a king or princes. And they, of course, they actually stay in their power. And you see that over there in Hong Kong. You got the, the, these people rising up against the government, man. They rising up against the police officers. And they throw them, you know, water bottles and rocks and everything else. 
And why they doing that? Because they they cause the civil unrest over there. You know, and we're gonna read verse 16 again. It said, For there should be sedition among men, and invaded one another. They not, they should not not regard their kings nor prince. And they of course they actions should stand in their power, and these people standing in their power because they, they tired of uh, the they oppress the oppression of the government over there in Hong Kong. But and meanwhile it's gonna happen over here in Babylon the Great if it not happened already. You're gonna see the same thing, but it's gonna be worse over here at Babylon the Great. Because you got these little class Edomite, they they take it up all and they ready to go toe to toe against the government. And like I said, you know, in my previous video, they they even had people over there in uh in Texas. They uh they, they want you to sign they want you to uh petition the, the for the gun laws over there. Why? Because they, they know that the government is trying to take away their laws and, and their freedoms. You know, and, and, and they had no they had no laws and freedoms to begin with, man, because we are in the police state, man. You know what I'm saying? We are in the police state and same as over there in Hong Kong. That's the reason why you got these people riding, because they know that they being oppressed over there. And they're gonna get to a point that the the martial law troops are gonna come out. You know what I'm saying? And they and they're gonna uh <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, they're gonna block the uh you know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to sit on barricade, man. Especially about this COVID nineteen. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause according to according to, you know, you saw you know, man, that the uh the virus started over there in China. But we all know the all the while along that the virus, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna make us they're gonna make the you know, you Israelites to face the COVID nineteen so the way they can be justified rolling in on you Jays, man. You know what I'm saying? And and they did that because they that Esau know their economy was crashing. And so we had to fight, figure out something quick to, to stop it and, and to spread that virus. And, and and that virus, you know, caused a panic. You like what all this got to do with the protest because the people are tired, they fed up, they fed up with with you know what I'm saying with the with the way that that, that uh things are going and, and and these people you know especially in Babylon great they they want things to go back to normal they want to go out and do their wickedness that's what it's all about but you know what I'm saying it, you know what I'm saying it's not going to be the same man and people want to go they want to go buy and sell you know they want to you know f you know they want society to go back to where it is and all that stuff, but guess what? That's not going to happen because y'all about Shimei Al Shai deemed that that he's gonna he gonna uh, judge the whole world, man. And that's according to the scripture. This is Second Ezra fifteen seventeen. It reads, "A man shall desire going to a city and shall not be able, for for because of their pride, his city shall be troubled, and the house shall be destroyed, and man shall be afraid. And a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor." But shall destroy his house with the sword and spoil the goods because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. And all these things are going to take place upon the earth, man. Why? Because, because it, it's, part, it's part of the prophecy of Yahweh by Shem Al that all these things take place. You, see, you already see all these riding and sedition among men, man. You see you see that the Hong, those over there in Hong Kong, over there in China, they, they rising up and they protest, man. You, you see that going on over there. And, and so this thing going on over here in Babylon the Great, but you want you want to see uh these the other nations they they they, they want to rise up as well. It, it ain't you know it's gonna happen all over the world that the people gonna rise up. They're gonna protest and all these things. That's the reason why they're gonna have these martial law troops ready and on standby because they're gonna have the martial law troops. They're gonna you know they're gonna use force to try to you know restore order and peace, but it's not gonna happen, man. It's gonna it gonna end up being a bloodbath and everything else. Because these people these people gonna rise up and they and they're gonna fight against the government. And and you see and you seeing that not you seeing that in Hong Kong. And you're gonna see it across you're gonna see it around the world, man. You know what I'm saying? It's probably more cases of it, but you just don't hear about it as much. But believe you me that these things are gonna happen because it's the will of Yah by Shim Al Shah. And, and I need things going on because of, uh, you know what I'm saying, because of what they did to the children of Israel, you know, made no bones about it, you know what I'm saying, they hate the children of Israel, and that's why all these things are taking place, 
know, that right, y'all, these riots and sedition among men, you know, over here in China, because these, these things are taking place because of, uh, because scripture says so, and this is going to be the last scripture. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24. It's going to be, start, I'm going to start in verse 6. It's, it, should, it's, it says, and you shall hear wars and rumors of war. See ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and they shall be famines and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. And all these are the beginning of sorrow. And all these things that are going on, the, the sedition among men, the earthquakes, the pestilence, the rioting, you know, slack for the rioting, and all these things that are going on over here. No, over there in uh, Hong Kong, and, and, and it's gonna happen here in Babylon Great and around the world. You know, all these things are gonna be the beginning of sorrows. You already see famines and, and the shortage of bread and shortage of food and all these things, man. These things have got to happen because the Alphonse and Al Shah said that it's gonna happen, and these just the beginning of sorrows, man. And you're gonna have Jacob's trouble. We already in Jacob's trouble, by the way, and you're gonna, you're gonna start seeing more and more. Prophecies that are taking place, man. You know what I'm saying? And and not then this is just the beginning. You, and, and you're gonna have people that that you're gonna get to the point that they're gonna just start killing people, man. They're gonna start rising up against the government, and they're gonna they're gonna start rioting. They're gonna start looting. They they they're gonna you're gonna have people that are gonna you gonna start breaking to homes and taking bread, taking people food. Why? Because bread is going to be real short, man. It, 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 on top of that, it's going to be a famine of the word. You know what I'm saying? People ain't going to know how to deal with these situations. But men of the Lord, you know, men of God, by Shah, they're going to know how to deal with it, man. And, and they're going to move according, according to the scripture, man. And with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Rakakadash. That will honor to the apostle Elson and prophet Great Millstone. Another respect to the brother teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. Yahweh willing. Shalom. A Baba Ba. Kwan Yasharala. Shalom.